a batch cut EF90 saw. Uh -huh. um, it's loaded for job and then it's computer cut. The okay. file for that cut job is downloaded from the cut list from a computer in that job. Okay. Side here, they're loading the wood to cut it. Yeah. It would depend on the file or that, that cut that they need. They might load one piece, they might load 16 or 18. Okay. And then if we go over to this side, which is directly across, this is where all the aluminum is cut. Yeah. Same thing has happened here, only it's aluminum. But the saw has been modified to accept aluminum. Originally okay. a wood cutting saw. into a jig and then staple those sticks. And now you had said that all this, uh, what is this called? It's this foam, the styrofoam. All the styrofoam is either cut on a table saw, one of three or four? There's three table saws and we cut some of our foam on a table saw, but a lot of the foam gets cut on our hot wire machine. Which you built yourself. Yeah, it's homemade. And that's what he's doing here. Yeah, you can see it cut off a very small strip to cut right. that foam design. And then that foam is put into the wood frame. Sure, depending or on the application, it would get it, it's cut to fit each cavity for each individual part, whether it be a wood part or an aluminum part. And then over here, where there's all this orange, is where the aluminum is welded. These are big tables that would load with aluminum. Weld the corners. Well done, Q. Good. This is where he makes his patterns. Making patterns for detail pieces, and we use two monsters routers to route out those pieces.